reset. Yep, 114 miles yesterday. It was a rough day. Rough work environment. It's horrible. Oh yeah, I see you on the GPS. So, there's Brian. Woohoo, 770i. Go check this out again. Eight miles of fun. One direction. We're gonna go do more than this trail though. I'm getting a little more used to the trees. Considering I rode the XR650R yesterday on 770 skeleton trail section, the uh, this bike is really skinny. <laughs> Yeah, for sure. The recluse on this works much better just with the recluse and without the clay. Can you run them both together? Sure, I did for a while. Didn't like it. And I didn't like the fact that the, the clay just never fully disengaged. Awesome view. Yeah, they say this is extreme. Not really. The easy is a joke. It's like literally you just go around the corner. It's like, uh, okay. <laughs> I guess the hard part here is if somebody blows a corner. It's kind of neat, this area with the, the rock. It's kind of hard to have a discussion when I'm going at a, a decent pace this time. Yeah, 770i is such a boring name, is it not? 
Duckling, we got Skeleton Trail, we got Turtle Mound. Come on, let's name it. What have we named this new section? Because the sections are broken up by hitting various roads, really. I think it should be called Flowmaster. It's a lot more flowy than the other stuff. I mean, as you can see, even I'm comfortable with taking this at a little bit more speed. Flowmaster, I don't know. What do you guys think? Put in the description. Maybe I'll just start calling it that in my videos and maybe it will stick. Now watch somebody chime in and be like, oh my god, we called it blah 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 or whatever. Who cares? Doesn't really matter, does it? A friend crashed on something and you know, they're all thumbs. So you call the trail all thumbs when you're out there in Penrose. And you know, I bet it. I bet the FLB club knows the trail I'm talking about, Mr. All Thumbs. Really, it would be shoulder, but I prefer All Thumbs. Because we could still say his hand had a role in the, uh, him and the bike going off. <laughs> so, All Thumbs still works. Yeah, a lot more insects out. Probably because of all the rain we've had is unusual so I have my goggles off and I've gotten pelted a few times even by I would guess like a big June bug or something because it felt big hitting my temple and it felt shelly you know like definitely had a hard hardness to it kind of rough in texture I would say just by hitting me is uh, that's how it felt so I would have to say it was pretty big like June bug or something like that, I would imagine. In the Trail Tech Voyager, that brother in law is right behind me. It's pretty nice that you can just glance down, not have to wait and look back. Although I still like making sure I see somebody occasionally. You, you can uh, slowly train yourself to just look at the Voyager. Take a glance, don't watch it, but you know, hey, oh, they're still there. Or if I saw a big distance, I could just stop and, you know, make sure, see if he starts moving again. So, thank you, uh, everybody. Thank you, thank you. Because, you know, watching the videos, no matter if you just watch a little or a lot or you click ads, or not I think it all plays a role so thank you thank you thank you yeah yesterday I had a major GoPro fail so I was able to get one video but I did all these trail videos for trail takers for some reason my GoPro Hero 5 Black shut off I don't know if it overheated it was pretty hot yesterday and the Sun was out right now although it was hot initially rain clouds are starting to come in again so it's, it's, it's cooled off and yeah I, it should have shut off so I was filming just at 2.7k at 60 frames a second and I'm gonna guess it overheated and shut off and I didn't really notice notice it until I got to the 770 single track on the XR and I just happened to Oh, look in the mirror. So I assumed my battery life, because I only had plugged in the smaller external battery, which I had previously used for the hike day, so it wasn't fully charged. And uh, I'm like, why does it say three hours left on the memory card? Because by that point, you know, I've ridden like for three hours or more. So like that doesn't make any sense either. So. Oh my God, yeah, I noticed it only said one video and it wasn't recording. It wasn't going anymore. So, uh, I was able to start it there 
as I was already on 770 and it ran maybe for five or ten minutes and then by that point the external battery was dead and it shut down so yeah I, I, I don't run my GoPros off just the internal battery because it's ridiculous how short it would record so today I'm using my bigger external power supply pack so this this will go for a couple days of riding it's great for trips or just not to worry like I didn't even make sure it was totally charged I, I pressed the button and all the lights showed up and so I'm like that's good don't need to top it off and I had plugged the GoPro in so the GoPro's battery should have been uh, charged back up. Good break point. Take a break here. 770 goes up there. You can also go down there and get 770 again, but yeah, we'll go that way eventually. 